Right, so us Brits bloody love a good old moan. Run it, bickering! So today we're looking at a bunch of things that people on the internet find mildly infuriating. All right, first up, I offered to pay for myself on a date, which would have been 25 bucks, but he drank so much the tab was over a hundred bucks. Good morning, I had a great time last night. After thinking it over, I think I will take you up on splitting the dinner. I follow the r slash Tinder subreddit. I've got to do a video on that as well, because it's so entertaining and it is filled with people who do this. I'm going to the game today and didn't realize I spent so much last night, lol. Can you Venmo me 50 bucks? Good morning, that offer expired after we left the restaurant. Have fun at the game. And she saved his name Jason with a poo emoji and a red flag. Fitting. Coworker keeps avoiding to pay me back after she conveniently forgot her wallet at dinner. Hey, hey, can you real quick pay me back for dinner the other day? Hey girl, sure thing. I get paid next week and I'll be sure to hit you up by then. I'm not trying to be rude, but you've been saying that for over three weeks now. Just keep pushing it back and back. I know, and I'm sorry. Shit's been crazy recently and I have other shit that takes priority that I need to focus my money on. I get that, but not when it's someone else's money. Okay, but you know I struggle to get by and like not for anything, but you're posting about going out for dinner again tonight whilst I'm struggling which is ridiculous all right and what do you mean all right and you're going out for dinner and you owe someone else money because they paid for your last dinner are you just going to stalk my socials every day calling out shit that I'm doing if you owe me money yes yeah, yeah. thought better of you what Oh, this, this actually really annoys me. When people flip things around on you, this is like gaslighting. See, this is the shit that I got to deal with. I'm literally just asking you to please pay it back. It's frustrating that you keep posting about going out for activities or food or anything else. But whenever I bring up the fact that you owe me money, then all of a sudden the weight of the world is coming down on you and you brush me off. Please, good on them for sticking up for themselves. I already told you I will. This shit is pissing me off. I'm done talking to you. Please just pay me back. You know what? I think it's just them acting out because they're embarrassed. The best thing you can do is genuinely just threaten to Sue, I have written evidence of you saying you owe me this money. Just be like, I'm going to take you to Petty Debts Court unless you pay me in 24 hours. And I guarantee it's getting paid. My friend said we were going out in costumes on Friday the 13th. <laughs> what they meant was two of us are wearing onesies. No one at this place was in costume and I showed up like this. That is jokes. What is she even dressed as? I hear people talking about this, but I don't think we have this in the UK. The Pillsbury Doughboy. Yeah, what is this? He's an advertising mask got for the Pillsbury company appearing in many of their commercials, but what do they sell? Biscuits, dinner rolls, soup rolls, and cookies. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. I love the man just vibing in the back of the second pick. <laughs> I bet loads of people in the bar were having a nice little giggle at that as well. We actually have a famous night in our uni football initiation where the freshers are told that the whole club is going to turn up in full makeup and a dress for dress up night. And inevitably, the freshers turn up in dresses and makeup. I did as well. And all the older boys are there in suit and ties and it is just absolutely hilarious. In fact, I remember being in the nightclub at the end of that night, dressed in the dress and in full makeup, and seeing this girl that I had a bit of a thing for in freshers. For some reason, I thought it would be a good idea to go say hi to her. But what I forgot was earlier on in that night, we had to drink a beer with a rotten mackerel in it, and safe to say, I can't remember what I said, but I didn't get her number that night. I don't really know why I just told you that story, but I kind of know how this feels. All right, next up. She's 27 and she pretty much stopped talking to me after this. Hey, Daniela, this is David from Hinge. Hi there. Oh no, an Android. I could tell that was coming just from the setup. For some reason, people have a massive issue with people having Androids. I don't know if they see it as a status symbol that's like the most important thing ever, or if they're just using it for an excuse, or if maybe it's sort of like a, a gauge on how much money they earn, I guess, because the iPhones are more expensive but whatever it is, the number of people that seriously care about this is insane. My sister lost a friend because the friend said she ruined all their blue iPhone group chats with her Android. That is so cold. Yeah, it's really cold. I just don't get it. Threatened to sue me after crashing the car. Do you still have insurance on the car? No, I took it out Saturday after I sold it to you. Why? That works still in your name. My son got into an accident on the way home. Can you call your insurance? What's that got to do with the person who sold the car. Sorry to hear that. Is he okay? He's fine. I'm just trying to get this fixed. Can you let your insurance know? How the hell did he do that? The whole front bumpers come off. Jesus. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Wow, looks like a pretty bad hit. Usually you go through your own insurance after the title is signed over, as you should. I'm trying to work with you. Insurance will pay for it. You don't have to pay nothing. Or you can take it back for the difference in damages. It's just a bumper cover, that's all. Sorry, but 
that's not how it works. The whole point is that the longer you insure yourself and you don't claim anything, the cheaper your insurance is because you get a no claims discount. Why would he make a claim on his insurance and end up paying more for someone else who crashed a car that isn't even his anymore? Listen, buddy, I'm giving you a chance to make things right after selling me an unsafe car. Excuse me, you knew this car needed a clutch. Oh, damn, so I actually did need a clutch. The ad said must be towed, yet you insisted your son driving at home. Okay, I mean, if the guy knew and still insisted, that is so his fault. The bill of sale also says non-drivable as is. You're supposed to get insurance when you buy a car. Don't blame this on me. All I'm saying is the car is unsafe to drive and I want this sorted out before I get my lawyers involved. He knows that the lawyers aren't going to actually get involved. This is not a case that even Saul Goodman could win. <laughs> that seems... fair. Since you have threatened litigation, I will no longer be speaking to you outside of legal representation. When I've received legal service, I will forward it to my attorney. Then mute the conversation and don't respond anymore. That is solid advice. I studied law for four years and that is full marks. Can't afford a lawyer if he couldn't even afford to have it towed. Literacy level matches his thought process. Poor guy, I mean, he's a divvy and trying to be a scammer, but that is an expensive car to do it to. All right, next up. I bought this palette specifically for the blue middle shade. Oh no, that is actually so stupid. Why have a tinted glass see-through thing that changes the color of the palette? Wasted my money because I need it for a Halloween costume. That is criminal. This company absolutely butchered our pen order. Instead of following the instructions in our conversation, they just printed the instructions right on the pen. No way. My professionals, please add dot .ca after the logo. So it reads, my professionals, that is so jokes. This is just completely automated, isn't it? This is just some factory in the middle of absolutely nowhere that does not have any quality control. These pens are probably two pence each. This is what it reminds me of. Vegan fish fingers. Inspired by modern street food, blah, 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 blah. Simply pan fry and serve with sweet potato fries, mushy peas and waitering vegan tartar sauce. Or enjoying wraps. If it's still too long, let me know. They just didn't read it before pasting it on. And this as well. Do you remember this? Victor and each of you. Can you tweet something like, unbelievable support yesterday and great effort by the lads. Hard result to take, but we go again. The social media guy is getting sacked. Why, when it's that short, would you not just read the whole message? Entitled neighbor wasn't happy with my parking job, so they blocked me in. I can't actually figure out what's going on here because the gray car doesn't look like it's done anything wrong. Maybe this is just their parking parking spot, but if not, what the hell is going on there? My boy's car got stolen, so I'm guessing one of these is the car. A couple of hours later, we find this on Facebook. Oh, it's that one. It's the Nissan on the end. The car got stolen, then he finds the marketplace items everywhere. I mean, surely that's like the easiest police phone call ever. If they can't get a conviction out of this, seeing the car and then seeing it in parts on the marketplace, like hours later, I've lost any hope I had left in them. My bike, but not my dog tied to it. Is it tied to the actual bike? That is such a bizarre decision. It's your dog now. I really hope that dog hasn't been abandoned. Or maybe I do, because maybe that's a bit of a shitty owner. Yeah, I think I'd be cycling away with the dog in my backpack. I can't close a company because I owe zero pounds and zero pence, and they're disappointed with me. We referred to my previous communication with them, which I detailed the outstanding balance due by you to BT for zero pounds. I just did the, hi, could you read the last letter you sent me? Oh, yeah. Behold, my cat's contribution to my brand new epoxy countertop. That's actually kind of cute. Honestly, this is the kind of thing that could be an art piece. Why would you let your cat roam during this time? Yeah, I can't lie. I'm not one to victim blame, but kind of your fault. My school is finding students that take too long in the bathroom. Who's watching? The fines are coming. Get in the bathroom, use the bathroom, get out the bathroom. Hanging out in the bathrooms is not permitted. Smile for the cameras. That is creepy as hell. I hope the cameras are at the door. But also, who's gonna say whether you're hanging out in there for 10, 15 minutes or doing something else? Too bad if you have IBS. Exactly. Customer came into the restaurant and gave the waiters this allergy list. Holy God, I'm not reading all that. Food allergies, cannot eat the following foods. Uh, I don't wanna read it. Read it. Any protein that is not fresh or is not just frozen. Avocado, dry fruit, strawberry, tomato, banana, eggplant, spinach, oh, alcohol, beans, beans right. chocolate, right. anything right. fermented, right. anything right. pickled, right. soy, right. cheese, mushroom, fish. No, that's pointless. Honestly, at that point, just eat at home. 
why make it their problem? I mean, eating anywhere is playing Russian roulette. I mean, stepping outside is Russian roulette for this person. The ride was cancelled by the driver and I was sent this. To compensate drivers for the inconvenience, a fee is charged if the driver has to cancel after waiting for more than zero minutes at your requested pickup location. Come on. To avoid this fee in future, only request when you're ready to go. I literally watched my Uber driver drive by without stopping as well. This is just encouraging scams, surely. Bought three thermometers to check the heat in my house. All of them read different numbers. 70.572 and 69.6. At least the spread is semi-reasonable. There's a famous proverb, a man with one watch knows the time, and man with two is never sure. I like that. I love the decimal point, it'll give you the wrong temperature, but more precisely. Oh no, I had all the right answers on my chemistry test, but second guessed myself and got a 50A. So they had D, ended up putting A and it was D. Put C, scratched at B, and it actually was C. Oh, the teacher's writing don't, just rubbing it in. That's ridiculous for it to happen that many times as well. Go with your gut on the multiple choices next time. I actually don't even know if that's good advice, but you would have been the only person to get all the multi-choice questions correct if you didn't change any. Oh, multiple choices, I swear, are designed to trick you though. Like, there's always one that's the right answer and one that's like, it's not the right answer, but you're like, oh, that definitely could be. Do you know what I mean? They're the same number. Tell us the value of X if 25 minus X equals minus five. They've put 30 and it's a choice twice. To answer this, ask yourself if I had 25. The fact that the thing has come up saying wrong answer and then explained it, that is genuinely more infuriating than the fact that the answer is there twice and one of them is wrong. The bacon I receive with my meal kit is 98% fat, dear lord. Imagine this happens and you're like halfway through cooking as well, so there's no turning back. You're like, brilliant, I've just got to have these fat bits instead. Irritating. The way this man texts. No way, I'm about to lay down for a sec. I'll hit you when I'm in town. I told you I suck at texting, that's great. What's wrong with the letter E? Nothing at all. I'll show you my book and we can... S Any phone that allows you to type, hitting the three is actually harder than the E because you have to go from the normal keyboard to the numbers. I've been doing this since uh, 2016. Just text them a bunch of threes and see if he agrees. Oh, honestly, I just blocked them. Why are you still messaging them? I'm mostly shocked that you were still down to meet up with him. That is not lit. If this is a date and they've seen that they text like this and they've still decided to go meet up with them, how low must their stay? standards be. Now this is mildly infuriating for two reasons. First, because this is irritating to read, but also secondly, because people that text like this are getting dates and some of us can't even get a text back. Oh, and with that, I'm evidently too infuriated. So I think it's time to end the video. Well, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like, make sure you're subscribed so you can catch the next one and leave a comment letting me know what you want me to look at next. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye.